turn up out how the operational amplifier can be used to amplify AC. AC mean frequencies and uh, and the inverting and non-inverting mode. You know that uh, sometimes the signal having AC as well as DC but we want only AC to get amplified. We don't want the DC. So So sometimes the signal is superimposed. AC signal superimposed by DC level. So then it becomes essential sometimes to amplify only the AC signals and to block the DC components. And you know this can be this can be used by using you know operational amplifier with coupling capacitor. So AC amplifier are inverting and non-inverting type. So let's first we go for the inverting. This is a circuit diagram where using here capacitor to block the DC and uh, allow it to pass the frequencies only. So capacitor register, then here it is an op and the capacitor attached to the negative terminal mean inverting. The non-inverting is grounded and there's an output and then a feedback register that it is uh, this is RI input resistor and this is a feedback resistor RF. This is our capacitor and signal is attached here to the inverting terminal. So the red, you know, red boundary inside, it is just an inverting op amplifier and the gain will be gain of the inverting op we know well output is equals to minus RF upon RI into the signal which is the VS. So now the question is what is VS when VI is applied? Okay. This is very important to let uh, what is the VS value if VI is given to us. You know B will be at the virtual ground like if A is at ground level, B will be at the virtual ground. Now how it is? Look. The open loop gain is infinity. And uh, open loop gain means output upon input. Input means the differential signal. Okay. And uh, the differential signal is V not over infinity. Something over infinity is zero. So differential voltage is zero, that means VA equals to VP. So this is an ideal condition, so, but uh, you know approximately also VP and v, VA and VP, they will be approximately same. So VP will be also at the ground potential, that is zero. Now the question is what is VS? If V A is given to us, what is V S? If V A is given, now this is a point. This is V S. This is R I. You know, point B is ground potential. So this is ground potential zero. This is ground potential. Now this the reactance is one over J C omega, reactance of the capacitor. One over J C omega. And the current flowing through this loop is uh, I. Now I is equals to voltage over the total reactance, which is Ri plus one over JC omega. Now how how much the voltage built up across Ri? That is I into Ri. 
substituting the value of i here and the signal vs becomes it becomes equals to this much okay this is a relation between vs and vi very simple vs is equals to ri upon ri taken as common from the denominator okay then ri ri cancels out vs becomes 1 over 1 plus 1 over jc omega ri into vi now multiply and divide by j j operator so j square it is equals to minus 1 so v s signal becomes j into j is minus 1 so minus j upon c r i omega into v i now v s equals to You know, omega is 2 pi f. So, substituting the value of omega here. Okay. Now, let me define the lower cutoff frequency. 1 over 2 pi rc. You know, dimension-wise, the relation is same. So, substituting the value of FL there so this is the relation between VS and VI now because output signal is this this is V0 minus RF upon R into VS substituting VS here so V0 becomes minus RF upon RI into VS where Vs is 1 over 1 minus j fl upon f into a vi. So this is the expression now. The output voltage of inverting op with capacitor, high pass capacitor filter. So this much is the you know gain of in this is called transfer function this is additional to the inverting hop gain because of the high pass filter that is because the capacitor is attached you know so this expression is coming because of the presence of this capacitor okay and where fl is the lower cut of frequency the amplifier will pass all the frequencies higher than fl fl is the lower cut of frequency from the, this is the basic base value from uh, above all frequency will pass but below no frequency can below this frequency no no frequency can amplify above it is okay but below not Now the magnitude of the gain becomes minus RF into RI into 1 upon the root of this whole square, this square. Now if F is less than F, then FL upon F becomes very, very large. FL upon F becomes very, very large. 1 upon large quantity. 1 upon large quantity becomes very very small 
So below the cutoff frequency, the gain is approximately zero. Let's think other way. If f is greater than greater than f l, f is greater than greater than f l, then f l upon f, you know, this becomes very small. Then f l upon f becomes very small. And of this is very small. And one upon small quantity, you know. that becomes very very large that becomes very large and if it f l upon f becomes so small approximately zero the gain you know modifies to just the gain of inverting op so hence ac amplifier amplifies the ac signals above the frequency which is greater than the lower cut of frequency let's discuss ac amplifier with non inverting terminal this is operation amplifier now the capacitor to be attached with the non inverting terminal and there is with the resistor then uh, grounded here this is our this is resistor r1 then it is grounded this is r1 resistor here a feed output voltage is a feedback resistor that it is uh, the c this is r1 r f feedback resistor v s v i r2 okay this much is the you know this is our you know non inverting op this is non inverting op connections we know the result of uh, the inverting op it is 1 plus rf upon r1 into vs the question is what is vs it is already explained you know it is already explained in inverting op that uh, the relation between vs and vi you just go back so that was the expression derived there now substituting this value of the vs above so v not becomes this is the relation between v not and vi and the gain becomes v not over vi is equals to magnitude of the gain this is the magnitude of the gain fl is the lower cut off frequency and its behavior already explained you know in case of inverting op just you go back and try yourself if fl is f is less than less than fl and second if f is greater than greater than fl you just do that that's very important what happens to gain for the two limits and we have fl is 1 over 2 pi r to see here okay thank you and please subscribe my channel